All right, guys, here we go. Um, welcome back to a new video. I'm going to actually start the video. Nick and I went out and picked up sheds. But anyways, this is Nick. Hey. This is his future brother-in-law, Mason. And, uh, yeah, we're going to hunt axis deer and uh, out here on Nick's ranch. So I'm pretty lucky, pretty dang lucky to have it, just the opportunity to come out here and hunt. But here's the situation. It is January, and most all the bucks have shed their antlers. Not all of them but most have, so we're gonna be picking up sheds and hunting deer and just looking for a, a good mature buck. I am gonna be pretty picky, but if we see a, a good buck, we'll, we'll definitely put a sneak on it, so. Yeah, anyways, welcome to Hawaii again. We're gonna go on a hunt with Nick. He's gonna lead the way, and he's probably gonna face crush me on some sheds, again. I told you it would happen. I told you. That's a little old, huh? Yeah, older one. We should take it. Can you carry that? Nice one. dark. We finally pulled up a decent shed right before we got to the head by side. We really like these uh, cactus patches. Pretty buck. Looks like he's been shot before. Hey. Right there. Yeah, that's old. Look how cool that he's heavy too. Yeah, he's pretty. Look at his kick. Dude. He's nice. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Look, he's like been hit in the neck. Yeah, yeah. Or or gored from fighting. True. Yeah, lean him up. Let's see those antlers. Wow. Pretty color. Pretty, huh? Jeez, heck yeah. Dark. Dark. Got her shot in the neck. Yeah. Yeah, like grazed maybe. Dude, they're the prettiest. Look at that cape. Yeah, he got gored. It's almost like a stab on his neck. That's yeah. a gorgeous bug. He looks pretty skinny. He does, huh? Is that, do you think, from rut? Or? Wow. Is that or from that? Great eye thing? guards and good mass. <laughs> nice. Very it is pretty. Nice. It looks like pretty red. Sweet. You can't ask for anything better than that this time of year. Like yeah. You're, you are so pumped. He still has his antlers. I can't believe it. Yeah, didn't be careful with them. You might fall off. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting them to fall off. Yeah, those are great eye guards. And good mass. He is a pretty shape too. Skinny. Beautiful. So yeah, look how options, skinny he is. Yeah, your options are a rug and a Euro mount. Oh my gosh, dude, it's yeah, he's pure emaciated bone. totally. Yeah, he either got shot there or stabbed real good. I mean, it's a hole. It's so infected. It's a stab wound. If it was a bullet, they'd yeah, would have gone through, through the other side. Yeah. I don't think he would have lived. Yeah. Yeah. What a good deer to take. Nice work. So we can skull cap them out and send you home with a skull cap and I can boil it. Well guys, I did not have as much video left over from Hawaii as I thought. I thought this would be a little bit longer of a video 
and I, I could have sworn I had more stuff. Um, I will overlay a few things as I talk about them. So the trip to Hawaii was literally just a vacation. We're so lucky that we had a chance to shed hunt and hunt. So I want to say huge, huge thanks to Nick, uh, Mason, enjoyed our time together. And then Joe and Jess, thank you guys for everything, especially getting Bridget on that buck and uh, mounting it so quickly. So we're so lucky to be able to go to Hawaii and make friends out there. So thank you guys if you ever get to see this. Um, after the hunts and kind of in between some of the stuff we did was we went to uh, Molokini Crater and did some snorkeling. I didn't get any underwater video of that, but I do have some photos from the snorkel tour. And we got to swim with a monk seal, which is super cool. We got to see all kinds of little fish and stuff while we did the whole snorkel tour. Snorkel tour. <laughs> and then on the way back, we saw humpback whales giant giant whales and they came so close to the boat um really we got a snorkel tour and whale watching all in one and enjoyed our time on that charter boat it wasn't overly packed just because a lot of people aren't going to hawaii with all the covid restrictions and stuff so i kind of feel for all the people in hawaii that make a living on the tourism hopefully that starts to pick up so those people can uh you know earn a living and whatnot but it was nice that it was so mellow in January, which is typically their busiest time of the year. So I love Hawaii. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to go back. I would love to go back in June. I'm trying to get something lined up with Nick so I can hunt axis deer when they do have their antlers and they're in the rut. Um, and then another thing we did out there is we went to see the wave. It's called Jaws. And the weekend we were there on Saturday, it was ripping. Everybody, all the locals I know was like, if you're around and free on Saturday, go to Jaws and check it out. And so we did that. Here's some of the videos from that. There's all kinds of people. I'm sure some of the best surfers in the world, big wave surfers, were there. Um, but man, a few of them took some spills. There were some gnarly wipeouts. Um, but seeing Jaws in person while it was hitting that hard was pretty cool. They called for 30 to 50 foot waves. But all in all, a great trip. That is the end of Hawaii. Hope you guys enjoyed all the little videos I made out of that trip. Um, I'm going to get back to just uploading daily vlogs. I've got a lot of stuff from the dog chew business, which again, I'm going to share my journey with you guys on how I got the dog chew business started and all the little odds and ends and things you guys need to know on, you know, maybe starting a quick e-commerce business. So that's, that's what'll be coming up on the channel guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's Super Bowl Sunday. So enjoy your Sunday and enjoy the game. If you watch it, I don't plan to. So I guess I'll just keep working and editing videos. Anyways, you guys have a good weekend. See ya.